everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. The birds are going crazy today. All I could hear as I was walking through the site to my plot was just the birds. They are just loving it. I think the weather's picked up a little bit and it's a bit warmer today. Again, it feels a bit like spring, but I think snow is on the horizon. So unfortunately, this is not going to last very long. Um, but I brought Alice down today. She doesn't normally come to the plot, but she wanted to get a bit of fresh air, so that's nice. So I thought we'd find something to do here today. Um, it's always nice just to walk here and just to get a bit of fresh air, to be honest, because um, that's the water from my water bin. Oh! oh. <laughs> Can't believe I just put that in my mouth. Um, that is the water that I got from my water bin yesterday to water my seeds. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Oh no. I know it's starting to rain quite a lot. Hopefully it's just a little shower. It's been raining all morning and we thought we'd get out when it stopped, but there we go, that's life, isn't it? Um, I want to check on a few things today, have a look in the pond. My lovely neighbour, um, a couple of plots down with the pond, who said that we can have frogs, frog spawn, he was here yesterday and he has said that he's gonna give me some irises to plant in my pond. So I brought with me today some aquatic soil. I read that irises can be quite invasive when you plant them in a pond um, and so to keep them in a pot so I'm going to put them in a, an aquatic pot I think I've got one left um, and then contain it I think you have like snails sea snails sea snails you see them they're like little shells oh my goodness oh my god I just, I've said it before in another video, but I'm so happy with my pond at the moment, considering that it's February and it's kind of winter time, um, it's just looking so alive and I'm really excited for the spring summer because I think it's just going to absolutely blossom this year. They do say when you dig a new pond it takes two years for it to get going properly, um, but I'm just so happy with it. The plants are just like doubling, quadrupling in size. They oh, just look really so healthy, good. really happy. This one has spread itself across the pond. They just got going. And the amount of bulbs that are coming up that I planted, I didn't even think I planted that many. But look, we're gonna get so many daffodils, irises. It's just amazing. And hopefully all those Californian poppies come up again over there. But I'm just really happy with the pond. I just wish that we had more wildlife. But then maybe, having said that, maybe this year is the year that we will actually get frogs and wildlife. Um, I just need to be a bit more patient with it, I think. Because I, I have a really good feeling about this year. I think I'm going to get some frogs. And I don't think I'm actually going to have to steal them at all. Which is always a bonus, isn't it? When you don't have to steal things. So that's good. Um, broad beans seem really happy but I might closh them because if we're going to get more snow I don't want to sort of shock them do you know what I mean because plants aren't very intelligent in terms of like understanding when the seasons change so if the sun comes out and stuff they all get going because they think oh great spring's here this is brilliant but actually it's not spring guys just to let you know it's actually still February and we could still get snow so <laughs> But they look really happy they actually look like they're in the spring i think they think it's spring i'm pretty sure they think yay it's springtime let's go for it um because they're such a vibrant green that's how good i am now that's how good i am now at uh, knowing oh what plants are thinking right okay the plan today why does my broccoli look like it's dying what's happening why does this look like it's all dying in here? Should I take all those leaves out? I think I should take those leaves off. I think that's what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm just gonna take these rubbish leaves off because I think the plant's using energy. It's taking up the plant's energy, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm just gonna take them off and go stick them in the compost bin. A little fly city. 
Okay, I've got to break all these tea bags up now, haven't I? Because they're not going to compost. Thanks, Ali, for holding that. It's lovely. I thought these tea bags were all right, but they're not. <laughs> so what I've got to do is open them all up. That's all rolling. Like that. Mind you, it must be really good for them, these tea, oh, no. this tea. Because it's just leaves tea, isn't it? Tea is just leaves. Oh, my God. The things you learn on this vlog. Tea is leaves. There we go. I drink so much tea, it's why there's so many blooming tea bags. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna buy the de the decomposable oh. ones by the way. I don't think you can see anything. I'm gonna buy the decompos decompostable deco ones. Oh. You know what I mean. You can get a decompostable boat. Yeah, decompostable. You see what I'm teaching my kids why I need them to go back to school. Oh, oh my god, why did I need that? <laughs> right, that's that all can't be. I've got to take that out. In case you didn't catch any of that, I'm going to buy some tea bags that can decompose so that I can put them. Oh, there's a fly on my camera. Oh my so that I can put them um, straight into the compost bin. But those ones I've just had to break up. So <laughs> there we go. Right, that's that done. So that's that sorted then, isn't it? Um, compost sorted, garlic's fine. Uh, that goes over there, Ali. Right, now. <laughs> The job that I actually wanted to do today, but I'm not going to do because I've got Ali with me, and I think she'll panic, is take this thing apart. Now, I thought long and hard about this, this piece of wood that I found that I was so excited about. I've decided to take it apart because I think I've got more um, ideas of what to do with it when it's just pieces of wood, and I think I'm going to make a cold frame out of it. So I want to take it apart. I don't know how easy this is going to be to take apart. It's like an old shed panel. So I don't know how simple that is to deconstruct. I might just give it a quick go just to see how easy it is. Thousand of bugs. I know. It's because it's been lying down with bugs on it. It's okay, Alice. It's okay. Bugs are okay. They're actually part of nature, so you shouldn't be scared of them. easy for once um, I've managed to take it apart now so it looks like this so it's sort of like a frame do you know what I mean and then over there these pieces of wood are not very good they're actually a bit flimsy and stuff but I don't know maybe they'll be good for something all wood is uh, valued at this plot but yeah this is quite a nice little frame so I can take that apart soon and I'll sort of put it back together as a cold frame frame but yeah that's my next challenge this is a fine piece of wood. It's a fine piece of wood I found myself here. So, oh look, it just unscrews. It must be screwed in if I'm able to turn it. Or does that mean nothing? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh. Yeah, it's good, it's good pieces of wood, so. So that's my next challenge is to I thought that would be so hard actually I'm so surprised of how easy that was to take apart I'm so pleasantly surprised That's my next challenge is to make a cold frame out of all that wood um, I've got two pieces of glass like glass windows Stick them on the top Bob's your uncle Easy peasy So my next video will be me coming to the plot And trying to construct a cold frame I hope you stick around for that video If you are new around here subscribe Hit the little bell as well And then when I put my next one up Which you're, I, can't, I know you can't wait to see um, You'll be notified of it So Next is a cheese I think that's eggs oh. <laughs> Obviously my, my children get their love of nature from me <laughs> She's running away. Right, I will see you in my next vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.